Tadam. I've been traveling the past 10 days and I just got back here in the Philippines and out in actually sent me a product they emailed me before I left for Jensen and the package arrived while I was in Jensen and so I haven't I haven't even opened it so today we're gonna open this product from out in and I'm gonna show you so it's actually I was actually very excited to get this because this is going to be our first um, international product that is being sent to us by the actual manufacturer to review this episode is not sponsored by them I did not get any uh, money out of this and they are not telling me they're not telling me what to say in this review so everything that you're gonna hear everything that you're gonna see in this video is completely of my own and they're not seeing this video before you do so yeah right so here it is so it is the out in nano right so out in nano is that so the out in nano is actually a portable electric espresso maker That I'm so excited about. <laughs> so when you open the box, have an out-in day. So as we open the here, you can see it's out-in nano, nano, out-in nano. It's a portable electric espresso machine. Look, oh, they have really nice graphics on the packaging. Then it says here, be the next one. Okay, and then they have recipes here. Okay, let's open. We are just being thoughtful. Oh, I guess the, these are um, tips. And then you have instruction manuals here. Okay, and then there is the product. It looks really nice. It looks actually very premium. The build quality is um, is really nice. This is the actual um, porta filter. Mm. And then. Um, when when you open the box it comes in with the um nespresso pod adapter so if you want to use your own coffee you're gonna have to replace it with this actual basket that can contain maybe eight to ten grams of coffee here is the actual um espresso maker and then this is the catch cup. So in in their website they call it. So you use this either to catch your espresso or um, rest your out in here after using it. Okay, and then you have your basket there that holds 8 to 10 grams of coffee and then you have your scoop that actually is a useful tool because it also acts as your tamper and a charger oh so it says here to use it only with a 3 amp charger don't use it with a 1 amp charger right Okay, so these are the things that came out in the box. Oh, just slide up. 
Right. Um, the great thing about this out-in um, portable espresso maker is um, its ability to heat up your water. Unlike other portable espresso makers that are um, that actually requires you to bring another device to heat up your water, this out-in espresso maker actually can heat up your water and heat up portable and heat up wirelessly yes that's right there is a battery inside this product and you don't actually need to plug it in for you to be able to heat up your water so it comes in with two different um, baskets so the first basket um, the one that comes uh, the one that comes plugged in when you open the box is this Nespresso pod adapter so you can use you can use a Nespresso pod out of the box um, with this adapter and then you have you also have this um, actual basket you also have this actual basket so this actual basket comes with a shower screen as well and it can hold 8 grams of coffee maybe up to 10 grams and then you can use this to tamp your coffee doesn't actually the tamper the tamper slash scoop doesn't actually sit flush in the basket yeah but i'm guessing i'm guessing they did that on purpose right and then um of course we want to use the actual basket to produce our espresso so you simply load that up on this porta filter so you take out the basket for your pods your pod adapter and then you put in your um, basket into the porta filter and then screw it back here Now you can actually just put the catch cup back onto the espresso maker and then press to produce your own espresso. Oh, so it says here to make sure that it is fully charged before first use. So I'm gonna have to charge this first. I'm gonna prepare also all the things that we need so that we can do our own espresso right here outside so i'll be right back right so now that we've uh finally charged this fully uh, we will be able to use it and we're gonna start all the necessary preparation so i'm gonna weigh my coffee beans um, I was reading the instruction manual earlier and then it says that we can actually it says that the basket the basket's capacity is five to six grams but everyone on the internet even the website says we can actually use eight to ten grams so I'm gonna weigh eight grams first we're gonna use this coffee from herd it's from Indonesia and it's a medium roasted coffee so it's a bit heavier right i was actually hoping to use a medium uh, roasted coffee so that we can use more coffee so that we can compact more um we can fit more coffee inside that basket the grinder we're using today is the king grinder p2 i just need to check the setting Okay, so from zero, we count 7.2 backwards. That is... Okay, that is seven numbered settings on the King Grinder P2. It's a, wind, it's a bit windy today because 
Um, supposedly, there is a low pressure area. All right. We're grinding a bit fine for this because it says it says on every YouTube um, video that I've seen, it makes 20 bars of pressure. I don't know if that is true. Um, there is no other claim on the packaging in the manual. There is no official claim of the amount of pressure that it can produce. But yeah, again, to start, uh, of, co of course, if you bring this with you when you travel, you have it in this form. Right. And then you take out the catch cup and then remove the portafilter. Place it down here for now. And then open your portafilter. Um, I was actually hoping to get. Uh, a funnel so maybe I'll just uh, 3d print that part but yeah maybe we can use the catch cup for this so we're gonna try and fit eight grams in here It's actually not that hard if you use the scoop. But um, if you use the scoop, that means you have a pre-ground coffee. And of course, we want to use fresh coffee so that it tastes better. Right, I'm trying to do light taps so that we can see if it's gonna fit. And I am tamping it now. Also, there is no um, there is no recommended grind size that you use for this. So what I'm using right now is the size that I calibrated for my machine inside the house. Okay, we have a bit more here on the catch cup of the grinder and then we're gonna tamp it down. I'm trying to distribute and tamp at the same time while doing this. Okay, now we have a properly prepared basket. All right, we're gonna put it. So you, now you just have to put the lid on top and then put it back inside the port of filter and then screw it in. In the instruction manual inside the box, um, they specifically said to screw it down really tight. Now we're going to weigh for 50 ml. Actually, there is a graduation line here so that you don't actually need your um, scale when you travel. But using it, since this is my first time using it, I want to try and see first. So that, that the reason we're using a scale is I want to try and see first if the graduation or the measuring line is actual. So we're going to put in our water. Uh, this is cold water, by the way. So it is accurate. All right. So now that we can trust the graduation line, um, we are brewing for one shot of espresso, which is 30 ml, according to their um, instruction manual inside. Now, all we have to do is put, back, put the lid back in. The, the switch is different when you use a hot water and a cold water. So for this um, so for this instance that we are using a cold water first, we are going to press and hold until you hear a beep. 
it's going to heat up the water and then automatically um, brew or pull your espresso shot. So this is the progress right now. And then all we have to do now is wait. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to prepare another 8 grams so that um, we can try and compare the difference between a cold water espresso shot wherein the water is heated up by this device right here. And I'm going to heat up and I'm going to boil water and then put it directly and then extract um, instantly. And then we're going to compare the taste of the two. Oh, it just started um, pulling the shot. And it should stop automatically on its own. We have actual crema, which looks really, really nice. Okay, you need to see this crema. It's, it, it looks amazing. Right? Okay, so it's not just like a mediocre crema. It's an actual crema. Because when you swirl it and then you stop, it goes back to the way it was. Right, now I'm going to try this. Wow, it's so good. <laughs> now, let's try. Um, I'm going to clean this up real quick so we can pull another shot of espresso. Right. It's actually hard to remove, you know. I think there should be a better way of cleaning this part instead of just scooping out all the coffee grounds. Yeah, right now I'm using the scoop. Literally scoop out all the coffee grounds that we just extracted. Maybe I can also... Um, 3D print something to make, make it easier to remove all the coffee grounds from this basket. Yeah, that is one thing to take note of. It's hard to remove the coffee grounds from the basket. Yeah, I think it's a nice idea to develop a funnel for this um, device. So know that if you are interested in buying one of these devices, I will be doing everything I can to design um, additional products to make this, to make the use of this product even easier in the future. Okay, the main difference in doing this is here you have a boiling water, which is around 99 to 100 degrees Celsius. And then, when you heat up your water using the device, they only reach, um, the water only reaches 92 degrees. So, there should be a significant difference in taste and level of extraction. Okay, we are now pouring up to 50 ml. Now, since we have hot water in the chamber, we are simply going to double press to extract. Okay, by double pressing the device, it's going to instantly um, extract the coffee. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Oh, but this has more flavor to it. So definitely we have um, higher level of extraction. Actually, they taste exactly the same. They differ in um, 
they differ in intensity. So this one is more intense. It has more flavor to it, but tastes exactly the same as this one where we heated up using the device. If you actually want to travel and bring only this, you can actually bring just this or and maybe a grinder. Or if you want to use pre-ground coffee, that's up to you. But of course, we, we want freshly ground coffee um yeah that's that's about that's about just the thing that you're gonna need this one and this one and your coffee and water of course <laughs> yeah that's that's the most amazing part of this product it heats up its own water this is out in Nano. This is a portable espresso machine. And yeah, for me, it's amazing because you don't need to pump it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's electric. It's heat, it heats up its own water. It's wireless. You don't need it to be plugged in to use it. Um, it creates great coffee. I'm actually enjoying this coffee right now. It's an actual basket. It even has a, uh, it even has an adapter for your Nespresso pods. But yeah, I, I like this. I like this product a lot. Uh, I might be, I might bring this to my travels as well, so that I have an option to brew espresso whenever I want to. I think the only drawback of this product for me is the. Difficulty of removing those coffee grounds inside this basket. Yeah, I think there should be a better way of removing the coffee grounds from this basket. Because right now, I'm literally scooping it out. It's like a... It's like a dried peanut butter. And it doesn't even give out. I mean, it's, it's sticking to the basket. And it doesn't even want to let... Yeah, everything that's left in there stays in there. Oh, and also after using it, make sure that you clean every component. Every part. Because, of course, it's going to last longer if you clean it every time. You don't get stains and... And, of course, if you let it... Um, dry on its own it's gonna have water marks and it can weaken the plastic so yeah make sure to clean up after i really like it a lot <laughs> i can't stress that hard enough <laughs> i wonder if it's if this scoop if the tamper is going to fit inside that um water chamber yeah, so that you don't separate. Oh, yes. Yes, it fits. So everything is in one single package. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. All right. I think that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, in the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye.